Hello everyone, Yossi here. Happy 2019, happy new year. How's everyone doing? January 3rd, beautiful day. I'm here today, I'm going to talk to you about my eight tips for successful investing in 2019. For 2019, I see a bit of a change from what we've been used to in the last decade or so. The rules are going to change. In essence, they already have changed and we have to catch up with what the new reality is. Okay? So, the message for today is that whatever you know so far, it's good, now put it away. And open your mind to new, fresh thinking about everything. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Okay? So, let's start with some new stuff because it's a new beginning, a new year, new outlook, new view, new point of view. Get fresh. Shake it up. All right. Uh, YossiKaplan.com. I was working on this uh, lovely website during the holidays. I hope you like it. Any uh, comments? Really love to hear from you. Basically what it is, it's going to give you all the highlights of the pre-construction and assignments, some videos. This is the stream from the other websites coming in from UrbanRealtyToronto.com, which is the most amount of information I have. Then it's Yorkville with about 500 the articles here, and then the regional sites that I have. Uh, I got a section for brand for real estate, 33 Jarvis. We have five townhomes uh, in the development of total 30 that sold out. We managed to grab five in there, and they are available for assignments. Okay, 85 Morel, we also have a bunch of units. These are also in Brantford. 85 Morel, beautiful loft, 12 foot ceilings and 14 foot ceilings, and depending on which floor. Uh, lovely places just occupying now. Jarvis will be ready for spring or summer of this year, 2019. And you can sign here or at the top of the site, uh, same form. And you basically get on the VIP newsletter that I have. And that's where I tell you about all the secrets that I can't publish online or that I want you to know, need to get right to your inbox. Okay. So uh, 20, uh, 2019, eight tips of successful investing. Okay. The first thing, and I'm just going to like walk around this website just to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, the first thing that I want to talk about is number one is the right approach and right attitude mindset. What does that mean? That means that things in 2018, you know, you've been used to, this is how it works, this is how you put your deposit, this is how you put your payments, <coughs> this is how you stand in line, this is how you reserve. All these things, they may still be there, but you're going to see a lot of changes. I need you guys to open your mind and have the right approach. And the right approach is how do I make money in a marketplace that is a lot more complicated in 2019. It's more dense, it's more complicated. The economy is a little off because the interest rates are going up and the things in China and nobody knows if the money from China is real or it's not. And a lot of people are trying to say, you know, like we've seen a bit of a slump in BC, this is because of China money. Um, but is it really? Because when they put the 15% tax, you know, it stopped for a couple months and then it kept going. So what is it exactly? Is it a global economy? Is it local? Is it regional? Is it really affected by China, by the U.S.? I don't know. Um, my guess is as good as yours. But the most important thing is you see beyond that. Don't get stuck. Okay, a lot of people, especially I see in the comments of my videos in YouTube, which is right here, Yossi Kaplan, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. I see comments here, um, which, you know, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with the comments. But the thing is, a lot of them are negative. A lot of them come from a from, from perspective of can't, and a problem instead of perspective of abundance and I can do this and I'm an investor I'm gonna find the best investment for me so that's my attitude my friends that's my attitude my attitude is there's a deal to be made somewhere right now there's someone with a property they want to sell there's someone with a property uh, or investment that they want to make an investment in there's always an angle here that you can help someone bring more value to them and share the goods okay so me as a real estate agent as a mortgage agent what I do is I bring you value. I bring you value by sharing my professional opinion about what's going on in the market and various buildings that I really like, like the Niagara here, top five penthouses, Junction, uh, some more Junction, and so on. There's Brantford that I told you about, Ossington, on it goes on and on and on. Okay, but the thing is, um, for you to understand that, you know, if someone comes and puts a negative comment, that's okay. It's not that they're wrong. You know, like. The, the numbers are fine, but what it is, it's if you're a good investor, it doesn't matter which way the economy goes, 
it doesn't matter because as an investor I'm gonna make my best when the economy is moving why because I'm nimble I'm fast I'm smart I'm intelligent and I can make sense of all these things and see the opportunities okay so number one right approach right attitude mindset uh, in my notes positive pro seeking success do not spend any time on negative people ideas or beliefs okay uh, number two number two is new ways to look at everything okay so if yesterday you looked at the project and it looked kind of strange to you look at it again and try to find the perspective that what made you know 500 people 54 in the case of Niagara about 500 if it's a tower to go and buy there so you know if you're sitting and you say ah da, 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 and like you like you're not you're not sure about it look at the successful people look what they do and use this as a point to jump forward and to jump start your thinking number two be open to new ways to look at everything and if you it's hard for you to find new ways go and look for inspiration look here some things that I've, I've been looking at these are people that are inspiring people they are showing you okay how people succeed now, obviously some of these are you know whatever YouTube brings me but the general thing here is about how to create success how to do well and every day Someone is making a great investment. Every single day, I promise you, every single second, every single minute, hour, day, someone is making a great investment. Why? Because that person knows that they can make great investment. They can buy something for a really good price. They can sell something for a really good price. Maybe they can get uh, someone to work with them. There's so many opportunities. You've got to find the opportunity. Okay? And the only way for you to find the opportunity is to put on this mindset of, I can find opportunities. What else is here okay because if if you if you go with the old ways you're just not gonna see new things it's just not available to you number three anything is possible mind the road can you get there from here you gotta produce these are my notes that I scribble but here, here's what I mean num number three anything is possible that means that if you want to go you know the the developer of any of these buildings it didn't were born as a baby and say I'm gonna be a developer no it took them years and years and years to work towards that and failures and successes and a lot of long nights and sweat and not being sure and you know being an entrepreneur is not easy it's probably the hardest thing there is but these people are first of all you know developers are entrepreneurs and when they're entrepreneurs they will find ways they will find ways to make it work and they have a dream and their dream is to build a building. Their build is to, to build maybe a cash flow environment here. Or here came a developer of, of the Niagara. And they look at the project and they go, you know what, there's an opportunity here. And they saw an opportunity. And the opportunity they saw the Niagara is very simple. What they saw, they saw that there's an area with lots and lots of tourists. Number one tourist area in Canada and maybe in the world. And they need more beds. And right now, they don't have more beds. You know, they have some hotels, but that's it. But it's not organized properly. So they went ahead, took the risk, took the money, bought the land, got a little approvals, got the, talked to Airbnb, talked to the municipality, and came up with a product that is good looking, good price, and can make you some money. And they actually serve you. They show you all the information you need to, to see if this is for you. So once you, once you fill the form, uh, on on the Niagara or just fill the main form just write Niagara I'm gonna send you the PDF explaining everything that they're looking at here showing you the numbers like I showed you in the video but even more that's the page okay and this page here shows you units in investment give you sample of units sample of investments give you the from prices give you the from uh, deposits here's a sample of a two bedroom here's a sample of a three bedroom okay as much information as possible to show you what you're getting into and to help you make a good decision about your own future. And your own future goes through these investments because you can control your future this way, which is great. Okay. So number three is anything is possible, mind the road. You know, the road that you're going is the road that's going to make it or break it. That means mind the road, make the best decisions time and time again. Every day you're going to make, I don't know, 10, 20, 50,000 decisions. In the course of a week, month, year, or lifetime, you're making millions and millions of decisions. Make more, better decisions. Okay? Before you're making a decision, take a deep breath. 
just like I did now, and make the best decision. Make the right, the best decision. Mind the road. Make sure that along the road, you remember where you're going to and making good decisions. And that applies to everything in life. You know, this is the context of investment, of course. An investment is that look, look, look at the numbers here and see, are these numbers good for me? Is this something I can live with? Is it better than other investments I can find? Can I find better investments? You know, go do the homework, make the, make the decision. Okay? The other thing is you've got to remember when you make the decision, you can't jump into tomorrow I'm going to be a billionaire. It doesn't work like that because you don't have the experience and the mindset necessary to do this. But you can say, I like to become a billionaire in 10 years or one day or in 20, whatever it is. And then you can start working towards it. Say, okay, what does it take for me to become a billionaire? What would it take for me to buy this property? So in this case, is how much deposit would I need? Go find the information. It's right there in front of your eyes. Um, what's going to be my mortgage and taxes? Well, it's right here. And if you want more, see the actual, all the numbers. Just fill this here. Take the action. Get the, get the form. Find it. And then call me. Book a meeting if you need to. Or buy over the phone like some people do because they already have the information. That's why... They're doing well. That's why they're richer, because they've done it so many times and they've focused on it. And that's what you got to do as well. Number four is set goals that you can control. And I attribute it to a guy named uh, Miles Beckler, who's a YouTuber that I really like. Uh, maybe we'll see him here. There he is, Miles Beckler. This guy's amazing. And he basically talks about setting goals that you can, you, 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 you can actually go through with. <clears throat> and, and that's really important because not all the goals you can control. Some some things you can't control. So you know, I can't I can't say something that is in the control of someone else, but I can say what's in my control. I'm in my control. Everything that I do is in my control. So set your goals for life and for investment based on what you can control. I can control how many uh, posts I put on uh, Twitter. I cannot control the number of followers I have, but I can say, hey, I can post another tweet or I can retweet this one because I really like this one. It's an important. It's got a lot of good information. So I can retweet this tweet. That's okay. That's in my control. On and on and on. Simple example. You know, I can make this video and give you information. And you can make the call of taking, downloading the information, looking at the PDF, this one or another, and doing the homework and start learning and getting serious about investing. Okay? Getting serious means being focused. Okay. Uh, number five, surround yourself with the right people and ditch the rest. Okay, so here is a, a meme from Grant Cardone, who's another YouTuber and a, a real estate guy from Miami, I believe, in the States. And he basically says one, two, three, four. But there's only one. One is the people that support you, and two to four is all the rest. They're not helping you. They're not supporting you. They're not cheering for you. They're actually trying to sabotage you. What, number four is whatever. Anyway, who cares for two, three, and four? Focus on number one and just block the rest, okay? You don't need them. Remove them from your phone, from your social media, from everything. They're not contributing anything to your life. Your lifetime is limited and you got to do the most you can and you got to have the best time you can, but that, that's how you do it. So thank you, Mr. Grant Cardone. That's a really good tip and that was tip number five. Surround yourself with the right people and ditch the rest, okay? Number six from me, get the right tools and learn how to use them. Okay, so there's lots and lots of tools available. Okay, there's a tools that help you to gather information like these blogs. Some of them that I put, Urban Realty Toronto, you'll see Kaplan.com, Twitter, YouTube. There's other people putting information. You know, there's, there's Google Maps, which is an amazing tool. Here I show you. Here you can actually see uh, the property and the falls. So, you know, this tool is really helpful because it shows you the distance. And you can show you if this is a good investment. Like, would tourists live here? Of course they would. Okay. Uh, here's another tool called condos.ca. And they show you uh, averages for the Toronto, for Toronto market. I think you got to be logged in. I am at the moment. No, I'm not. Okay, so you don't even need to log in to see this. And here it will show you. Um, it's summarizing Toronto. And it gives you the average sold price and the rental. And how many, how many uh, units this is based on. 116 sold and... 316 rented. This is for all Toronto. I think if you want to do full, okay, now you're not to log in. So this gives you the average of all Toronto, okay? So 715 uh, per foot. Uh, we're up 12% from a year ago and down 2% from 60 days. That means that we went up, and I mentioned that uh, before, we went up uh, very, very quickly, very high. And what we're looking at is we're looking at maybe a bit of 
know, it's not going to come up at 24% year over year because that's how many years can you do that in a row before people run out of money. Okay, so it's, it's got to slow down and let inflation catch up with it. Don't forget, we live in an inflationary environment. And like I told you many times, the economy is rigged. That means that the economy has built in inflation. Every day your money is worth less. That's why real estate is such a good investment. That's not going to change because that's how the world works. Okay, something has to give and something has to come up. If it's not the stock market, it's Bitcoin. If it's not Bitcoin, it's gold. If it's not gold, it's silver. It's, it's got to be something. Well, look at Toronto. People need beds. There's not enough beds. And that's the number one thing. And I don't care about immigration or not. There's so many people here that can barely find a place you know, that, uh, to live, to, to put their heads down in the night. Toronto is less than 1% occupancy rate. There are no vacant condos here, my friends. I see condos all day long. I walk into buildings every day. <laughs> there's no beds. Okay, There's so many people coming to town from all the, the kids of the generation that have the kids now. They're 18 and 19 and 20 and 30 and 40 and 50 and immigrants and people from other provinces and countries and you name it because Toronto is, is happening. Okay, Toronto is a happening city. More people every day. They need a place to stay. They need they need beds, and that's what we do. And you know, people coming for conferences, people come as tourists, people come here all the time. It's a major, major hub. Toronto is a major, major hub. Okay, more tools. Uh, Yossi.searchrealty.co. So that's uh, our tool we have through uh, our uh, through our company. Okay, um, this is when I log in and I go into C1, which is the Toronto downtown. Uh, right now I'm looking at any beds, one or more uh, baths and 400,000 minimum prices, nothing really under. Uh, and it finds, you know, at least 346 units and you can sort it any way you like and start looking at all kinds of prices. Start to play with the filters and the filters will give you all kinds of stuff um, and you can get more information using the filters and start to look at all kinds of stuff and see what you can find okay what you can find now basic don't forget all the this is a good one reduce price check this out but don't forget it's just what people put in that is coming out so there's 42 listing that says reduced in price in the latest listing I don't know if this one was latest to post or latest reduced but and I, I can't tell you in this interface on this page uh, how much it was reduced for but the system claims these were reduced you can send me an email saying you can actually just log in and, and, and um, request sh uh, contact an agent here. And just fill this form, hit it, and, and say, I want to know what was the original price, and I'll look it up for you. You can't do it on this interface. Okay, so this is, I uh, use the tools. Okay, two more and I'm done. Uh, number seven is be good to yourself. Okay, what does be good to yourself mean? That's exactly what it means. Be good to yourself. There's no, there's no charts and graphs here. Be good to yourself means take it easy on yourself, understand where you are, understand that life is long and it's an endless journey. And as investors, you know, we are challenging ourselves each and every day to be better, to do better, okay? But you got to be good to yourself. You can't punish yourself. Oh my God, you know, I didn't make the $5 million last year. I didn't hit the goal of buying 20 cars, whatever it is. Okay, you've done your best. You've done as good as you can. Keep going from here. Be really good to yourself. They're just, they're just basics. Eat well, sleep well, rest well, you know, avoid the junk. Do the right thing for you. Okay, number eight and the last one is one of my favorites. And uh, when I was working a long time ago with Brad Lamb, he, he used to say that. Keep your eyes on the prize. Number eight, keep your eyes on the prize. Lucky number eight. And that means stay focused. Stay focused on what's important. And, and that is your investment, your investment portfolio your life investment portfolio, you are the prize. You are the prize, okay? And when you're doing great and you are the prize and you're treating yourself as the best thing ever, your investments will be better because you're going to have sharp eyes and fresh perspective on what you're doing, okay? So that's it, my friend. I'm going to just give you the eight one more time. Okay, right approach, right attitude. That's number one. Number two, be open to new ways to look at everything, new perspectives. Number three, anything is possible. Okay, open your mind. You can do it. Number four is set goals that you can control. Okay, don't come to me and say, oh, that what, you know, like 
it started raining. Well, it, it, you can't control. Don't worry about it. Number five, surround yourself with the right people and ditch the rest. That's Grant Cardone. And Grant says, you know, if they're not helping you, if they're not supporting you, let's go walk away from them. Okay. Number six is get the, get the right tools. All the tools that you can get. Okay, use them. Learn how to use them. Make a good use of them. Number seven is be good to yourself. Be good to yourself, my friends. It's so important, okay? You got to love yourself. You got to know you're doing the best you can in every given moment and push yourself to do better all the time. That's how you're good to yourself. Okay, number eight and last one, keep your eyes on the prize. And when I say keep your eyes on the prize, I mean stay focused. You are the prize and you can award yourself with all kinds of beautiful life and investments and anything you want, anything. Stay focused, my friends. Stay happy. Stay healthy. All the best for 2019. All your comments, always, always welcome. All perspective, always right. No one is wrong. We're all here to learn from each other. Thank you very much. Yossi out.